What it is, y'all? It is your old boy Pilk, and I'm coming back at you today with more Damachi. Today we are talking about the new gacha. Uh, we got the Hestia gacha. Bell gacha went away yesterday. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't get to hit it as much as I wanted to, but you know, most of those units aren't time limited. The time limited one, that's going to be a little bit of a rip. But let's look at Hestia, because there's actually some really good units in here. But I'm going to be real. A couple of these units I have MLB'd, so this is a bit of a dangerous one for me to hit. Um, so let's start off with, uh, Adventure Set Hestia. This is one of the, one, one of the ones I have MLB'd, and she is absolutely awesome. Uh, at max limit break, she is critical rate, penetration rate, and count rate plus 10%, and self, which means whoever she's tied to, MP80 regen per turn. So she's going to regen 80 MP per turn. Now, I always tie her to someone that does, like, like, Katori or... One of the horror he makes that does like a crazy amount of MP in a turn. Now they generally already have their own MP regen. Add this on there, you never have MP problems. She's so good. Unfortunately, I already have her ML bead. Um, now at uh, level sixty, she does critical rate, penetration rate, and counter rate eight percent and sixty percent MP regen. That is still good. The thing is. When you're going after assists, you should always go after an assist to MLB. This is always true across the board. Like, assists can be good, but when it comes to somebody that has to, like, max themselves out just to do what they need to do, if you're chasing assists, you got to chase them to max limit break. Those of you that are my free-to-play players, you guys always criticize me when you see my... my not my free-to-play teams, and I always have max limit broken units, it's because I learned long ago, if I'm going to chase somebody, I've got to chase them all the way, or prepare myself for bonds. When it comes to assists, anymore, I just don't use an assist unless they're, they're max limit broken. I know you guys seem to think that I'm a mega whale and I go out there and I max every single unit. I don't. I don't do that. Um, I'm still extremely picky about what units I do go after. And that's why I am going to hit this banner, but I'm not going to hit this banner as hard. Fr frankly, I should hit the bell banner a little bit harder, but that just means I'm going to need more bonds. And, well, this might be a way to farm some bonds, I hate to say. But that does kind of rip. That's that's a solid rip uh, free-to-play right there, but it's the decisions we got to make sometimes. So when it comes to my free-to-play people, if you want one of these units here, you don't have one, this is a, not the best banner to chase them on. I'm going to be real. It might be better to wait till they come back. But, but most all these units are really, really, really solid. And this banners are really more designed. These are like your old pickup banners. These are more designed for you to be, be able to come back and grab a bond or two that you're missing and then get out of here. Because five units, and I believe there's five, yeah, there's five guaranteed four stars so use your time wisely that said the half priced pulls are extremely good value if you're going to chase this all the way that's 3,000 iris input to chase this all the way but that's also 11 draws because our first draw is free so make your decision wisely let's talk about Swimsuit Contest Hestia. Girl looking like a damn snack right there. At max limit break, strength and magic plus 15%. We have a few units that do that now. Foes, endurance, agility, and dex down 10%. I've seen a lot of Swimsuit Hestia being used in uh, Wargame because of that agility down. A dex down ain't bad either, and endurance down is not the worst thing ever. This is a great unit right here. Absolutely great unit. I don't have any bonds in mind despite chasing her a little bit. So if I pull her, I'm a very, very, very happy man. Uh, now this goes down to Strength and Magic 10% and all other stats 8% when she's only level 60. So like I said, if you're going to chase her, chase her to MLB. That's about it. Yellowbird Hestia. At max limit break, Strength 15%. Foes. Water and Wind Resist down 15%. Those are two teams that I really don't have a whole heck of a lot of. So she's not one I've... I, I've got her, but I never awoken her. And I don't have any bonds in her. 
because my interest level is very low. But if you have those teams, she's a great asset for those teams. Okay. Uh, Azure Dress Hestia. This is another one that I've got a ton of. I think I actually have her in my beat, if not really close. Level 80. Max level break. Allies. Fire, water, thunder, earth, wind, light, and dark. Basically everything that's an element. Resist. And guard rate. Plus 15%. So all of those elements. And your guard rate go up 15% just for having her on your team. She is spectacular. The only downside to her really is the fact that she doesn't do any other uh, any other stuff. But if you compare... Like, basically put her on a team with someone that... Like, if you put these two Hestias together... Let's say you've got a water or a wind team. Put these two Hestias together on a team. She's going to take somebody apart. But, you know, that's that kind of specific situation. But always having... Almost lost my trackball there. Having... Uh, all these elements increased 15% is really good. There's a lot of units out there that increase specific elements 15%, but there's no one, no one that does every element that we have currently. Now, there's another element that they've been teasing for close to a year now. We'll see when and if that comes, but that will kind of start to diminish the, the I say, kind of diminish her importance in the game, but still very good for those elements so i like it i like this one a lot if i am able to be here i'll be a happy boy uh, i think i've i think i'm only like got one or two left i think so same with wedding dress Hestia. now as you saw there if she's level 60 uh that everything goes down to 10 percent. so that's once again why i say if your unit is not max limit broken you are losing so much of a of these units and these units are really good wedding dress Hestia. Allies, magic, 20%, and critical rate, 10%. Now, I don't have a lot of really good magic teams, but if I did, she'd be a great one for those teams. Great one. In fact, I have been using that Dark Ryu a lot. She'd be a good one for that Dark Ryu, but unfortunately, I only really use Ryu as my only magic unit, so... Ugh, ugh. But very good. Now that goes down 15% and, and critical rate 8. But that's interesting because that's actually a really good stat for level 60. The problem is all those other numbers go down. So she starts to lose her effectiveness pretty drastically. So I would heavily, heavily recommend MLBing this unit. Uh, Pajama Goddess Hestia. We got a lot of Hestias on the banner. Some of the OG ones too down here. So I think kind of thought that would end with pajama goddess but it still goes on foes 45 percent sleep thunder resist minus 15 percent if you are an ailment person you got an mlb old girl now what's interesting 30 percent isn't a bad stat for level 60 if you're using her as a sack unit that's not the worst thing ever but just be aware that that will only be a sack unit like she'll basically come in she'll either do it or she won't and then she'll get the hell out uh, it's not the greatest thing ever, but there are way better, and I mean way better assists for um, for ailment, though that is not bad at all. There's one in, in here that does two hits at 45%. That one is killer. That one's killer. Uh, Moonlight Reunion, Reunion Hestia. I use her all the time. She is MLB'd. Foes, plural. Damage received attack type... Single target, plus 50%, allies, dex, 20%. Great unit. Love this unit. She is a record buster favorite. She goes down, single target, 10%, and allies, and dex, 15%. I will tell you from experience, she is no good unless she's MLB'd. So if you do not have her, hopefully you pull her. We also have Sacred Fire Hestia. Uh, she's one of the first ones that I MLB'd, so I'm not really worried about her couple bombs in here for me, but whatever, we're going to hit this anyway. Uh, foes, plural, damage received, type, attack, all targets, 15%, allies, agility, plus 10%. Now, that agility 10% is really nice, but, I mean, that's why you see her a lot on War Games teams. It's simply why you see her a lot on War Games teams. That agility 10% could be really clutch. Once again, very respectable unit. And I have her in my bead. 
Ceremony of Flame Hestia. She's an easy one. Null ailments times two. Dex and endurance plus 15%. Uh, she's a good unit to take up against the ailment teams, though honestly we have better in the game. But all the better units are time limited. So maybe she'll be all right. Uh, all abroad Hestia. This one right here. Ally stun resist 100%, foes and endurance minus 8%. There's a lot of units in here, a lot more than I thought. Let's talk about Paradise Moon Hestia. Uh, so foes, strength minus 20%. That's pretty impressive. That's actually still quite substantial. And part-time goddess Hestia is ally strength plus 15%. I think she's completely out of date, honestly. Um... If there's a, a serious bomb on here, it's the part-time goddess Hestia. Uh, she has been outclassed time and time and time again. And I have her MLB. So all, everyone here at the bottom is MLB on my team. But I could definitely use... I think I need one wedding dress. Uh, maybe one azure goddess. I don't remember specifically. I definitely need the, uh, the new swimsuit Hestia. Swimsuit contest Hestia. So... Let's go ahead and pull on this and see what we get. Now, this is a free gotcha. This is completely free. And we got Gold Door, but but we could get lucky. We could get lucky. All right. And we're getting nothing but the Stu Heart, Two Star Hestia. That is kind of what we saw with the Bell Banner, too. Uh, so you want to MLB two star Hestia, you say? Now's your opportunity. Uh, actually, I like a three three star Hestia for a three star. So, like three star war games, she actually is not bad because she restores MP, and yeah, that's the thing. All right, let's go ahead and do one pull on this. See if we get anything at all. I'm not gonna go too terribly deep on this. Oof. All right, well. Y'all have been watching me. Y'all have been complaining about my pulls. So it is probably about time that I get uh, a little bit of a shaft here. Though I gotta tell you, this is not a lot of fun. <laughs> and I imagine it's not a terrible amount of fun to watch. Though it is probably satisfying for a few of y'all. Oof! Alright, I'm gonna do the one four star guaranteed. And then I'm gonna like walk away from this. This is clearly not the banner that's going to bless for me. And there are better banners for me coming up. So we're going to do the one paid and we'll walk away with whatever we've got. Hopefully it's not a dupe of someone I have MLB, but it's a very real possibility for me here. Yeah. Ah. All right. New phone, who this? I don't remember which one that is. <laughs> yeah, of course it's one I have MLB. Of course it's one I have MLB. So yeah, that's why I say this banner for me was a bit of a trap anyway. Eh, we're here. 200 hours can be farmed in an afternoon. This is, That'd be easy to farm. Let's just see... And, no, it just confirms. It confirms that I made a stupid mistake by doing this. Alright. So, we are getting more banners next week. So, I'm going to hold off on this. And I am not going to go any further with the Hestia banner. It is it is a total trap for me. New phone to this? Nah, it's... Nah. Yeah, that's a rip. That's a solid rip. Time to pack my stuff up and walk away. I uh, wasted a bunch of iris there, and uh, yeah, I got not a whole heck of a lot for it. So that's going to be the video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, y'all. Follow Birdman. Hit me up on Booker. I'll be back at you guys with more Damachi here, uh, and hopefully better summons soon. Though, if you were satisfied by finally seeing me get the shaft, hit that old thumbs up, because, well, I'm not rephrasing that either.